Hello and welcome to my monthly update from Strasbourg. The headlines. UK MPs voted last week in favour of the government's Brexit bill, setting Britain on course to begin exit negotiations with the EU in March. UKIP has been caught out lying again. This time it was their party leader, Paul Nuttall, who's attempting to bluff his way through a by-election in Stoke. Here in Strasbourg, the European Parliament voted to back CETA, the progressive trade deal with Canada and the emissions trading scheme. Hopefully all that is enough to get rid of a mental image of Theresa May holding hands with Donald Trump, a nightmare seen for anyone who slept through 2016. In the West Midlands, Tristram Hunt's departure as MP for Stoke-on-Trent Central sees Garth Snell, the former leader of Newcastle Borough Council, run as Labour's candidate in next week's by-election. According to the polls, his main competitor is UKIP's Paul Nuttall, whose campaign has been marred with controversy. The Scouser attempted to deceive voters where he lives by registering a brand new address in Stoke. Even worse is that Nuttall has been forced to admit that claims on his personal website about losing close personal friends in the Hillsborough tragedy are false. One mistake, this is awful, could generously be perceived as careless, but it is not the first time Nuttall has been accused of outright lying. In December, he was forced to deny that he faked a CV, which falsely claimed he had a completed a PhD and once played football for Tranmere Rovers. This is why it is so important to back Labour's excellent candidate, Gareth Snell. On to Westminster where the bill allowing the government to trigger Article 50 was passed in the House of Commons. Confusion remains the watchword for Prime Minister Maybe, who set the 9th of March as the foreseen date of triggering Article 50. Cabinet colleague and Brexit Minister David Davis had other ideas, admitting that he does not recognise that timetable. Whatever the final day of departure, the painful consequences of Brexit are already being felt. The changes in business rates will particularly hurt small businesses on the high street, as the new rates will be based on the property prices, which tend to be higher in urban areas. In contrast, online giants like Amazon, who have large warehouses in rural areas, will have its rates cut.